Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today I am doing a response video to Back in the Day Gamer. He made a good video about three crazy bosses that were in NES games, and I'm gonna reply to that, so here we go. Okay, so the first boss that I found weird in an NES game, which was actually an arcade original, Narc. Narc is a game that is kind of like a shoot 'em up meets a beat 'em up, where you are in a beat 'em up style game, but you have guns and you just shoot people down. I'm surprised Nintendo let this go through. You have exploding body parts throughout the whole game, but the weird thing is the boss is a floating style, creepy, weird looking kind of guy. His name is Mr. Biggs, and he basically looks like four legs with just a head. And you're like, what in the world were they thinking? You're going, I'm gonna be fighting a boss. At first you're thinking, okay, so you got like, these guys, you got all these people. You're thinking, he's gonna be a big guy, he's gonna be a tall dude, he's gonna be kicking your ass, and then you just look at him and you're like, that is, he, he should be called Tiny from what I'm gathering. I can't figure out what to make of him. And that is why he's number one on the weird boss list for me because you think you're gonna get a really good final boss fight and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, he's out of this world, gonna be crazy, and you get that guy. Number two for weird bosses, you think a game that came out in 1989 named Monster Party would have a bunch of monsters and you're going, oh my gosh, it sounds like the best game ever. It is an amazing game, don't get me wrong. But there's one boss that I'm like, what? Why? Why do they even have this person slash monster in this game? I can't figure it out. It's not scary, nor is it creeping me out. And it's supposed to be a party with monsters. And you got the talking shrimp in the game. I'm just like, what? A talking shrimp? Shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Why? <laughs> it makes no sense. I'm just sitting there watching this dude who's a talking shrimp talk to me. And I'll show you a screenshot of it. And he says some crazy funny stuff. And in Monster Party, there's a lot of bosses that are weird and creepy and, and, and strange. And there's a lot to pick from. But I thought a talking shrimp should be number one in my list for Monster Party because you just have to be on acid, I guess, to be able to make that that monster up. I don't know, it's just weird. You guys gotta play Monster Party and, and if you find the talking shrimp, screenshot it, take a picture of it, because that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And finally, the last one on the list is one that you're not gonna be expecting because you're like, oh, you already have talked about Mr. Biggs. You've talked about a talking shrimp. What else could be the weirdest thing ever as a boss? My friends, I give you Wall Street Kid, the weirdest game that came out in 1990. You are a Wall Street Kid trying to sell stocks, make money, and I give you the weirdest boss ever, his girlfriend. If you do not sell and keep the money going, he will have no girlfriend. His girlfriend will leave you. And I'm like, what? Why? You got a gold digger. Get rid of her. Tell her, adios. Bye. Something. But no, we have to endure her little whiny self and have to deal with her on a daily basis. That, my friends, is why she made the list because she is a boss that you cannot get rid of, nor fight, nor do anything because that is his girlfriend. And that is the worst torment you could ever have in your whole entire life. So yeah guys, that is my three for the weirdest, strangest bosses I've ever had in video games for the NES. What are your three? Make a response video to the back in the day gamer. He would love to see your videos or your responses in his comment section. Thank you guys. Peace, love, rock and roll, and video games. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Adios.